Wow. Whatever you cooking in there smells the bomb.com. Mm. <laughs> it's a new recipe. I'm trying to be a vegetarian. They have like this whole cool, organic, healthy living style and Okay, so meat is really, really expensive and I'm really, really poor, so. So I take it that audition didn't go too well? Oh no, the audition was great. I mean, I'm just not what they're looking for right now, so. Hmm. I have another audition next week. I'm just gonna focus on prepping on that. Wait, and, and then you're gonna take off of work again for that? Maybe. Oh, why, you wanna hang out after? And no, um, I have to work. But you know, if this whole job situation doesn't work out for you, I'm pretty sure I might have a position for you at the firm. Uh, the firm, isn't that like a, like a nine to five type of thing? Eight to four. Yeah, see, if I'm gonna go and do these auditions, I have to have open availability. See, Jesse. That's why I came over here, because I need to talk to you about this tonight. You know, I think it's great that you're going after your dreams and everything, but it's got to get to a point where you got to take a step back and you got to look at where you're at. I mean, you are almost 29 years old and your friends, they're off getting married and having families and, and they're growing up and they have careers and they actually can pay their bills. They don't have to struggle to eat. You literally are the definition of a starving artist. Oh, could you uh, tell that to my thigh? Uh, okay, I'm serious, Jesse. I'm worried. I don't want to have to take care of you when you fall again. Okay, first off, nobody's asking you to. I'm quite capable of keeping to myself and taking care of myself. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, let's go there. So how far are you behind on rent this month? And let's not even get into how much credit card debt that you've accumulated over the year just in late fees. Okay, that's none of your business. None of my... You know what? Like heck it is. I made a promise when mom died, and that was to make sure that you were going to be okay. Yeah, and I made a promise to her too. That I was gonna keep doing this no matter how hard it got. This is what I was born to do, okay? I wasn't meant to, to sit in some office cubicle repeating the same task every day. This is what I want to do. You know what? I hate to break it to you, but there's more to being an adult than just doing whatever the heck you wanna do. It's about doing what you have to do. You're not a kid anymore. Yeah, and you're not my parent or my guardian, or whatever the hell it is that you think that you are. You know what? It's time, Jesse. I hate to break it to you, but it is time. I cannot watch you go down that road again. I've seen you become so depressed, and I just can't see you get that low. You have got to make a choice. It's either you're going to go off, and you're going to grow up and want to live and want to travel, or you're gonna wanna keep chasing after this little fantasy of yours. Okay, I gotta go. I promised Brian that I was going to be home early. Yeah, you should go. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow 